risk, in your opinion, is not a threat. Um, and you talked about how it's th throughout this entire process. Risk is always there, and it shouldn't be perceived as a threat. We, we, we talk in the book about the natural duality of these conversations. Whenever you talk about risk, the first reaction is, risk is really bad, and we need to mitigate it and avoid it. But in the same sentence, everybody always says, nothing worthwhile can be achieved about risk. So we always talk about the fact that risk is dangerous, but nothing can be achieved without risk. And the next set of conversations is that risk and opportunity are somehow linked in all of our minds. And we sort of know this. So this comes very natural to, to business people and, and, and financial professionals because risk is almost like a lever, right? It, it's not na naturally positive, it's not naturally negative. Too much risk is super dangerous. Too little risk will not enable you to achieve your objectives. So it has to be dialed just right. And of course, it's the role of senior leaders to really think about what that means. So when we talk about risk management and risk intelligence, it's all the tools that help you as a leader to make these really hard decisions. And there's no right or wrong answer. It's done under uncertainty. Information is always incomplete. So, so it's your role as a leader to, to really figure it out and think about it. So this is one of those tools.